welcome again guys so last time we have seen a few websites about freelancing and a brief comparison between them and this time I'm going to show you how you can create account in them actually it's pretty easy but still I'll tell you the better way even that will help that might help you so first of all what you need is to create a new gmail account so just go to gmail.com and uh, please try not to use your old account because you will be getting a lot of mails and click here and create account then enter your first name and last name choose a username so let me put up okay i'll take anything i'll skip this process faster so we are done with our new account and next you will go to the freelancer website so i'll continue to gmail and go to freelancer.com and i'll click on sign up on this type right corner top right corner so what you need to do is just enter the same email address which you have created which is for my case is this one i've copied and pasted it guys that's it and uh, why it's not showing valid okay and type a username which you want to keep uh, i guess that's okay okay then choose a password and we are here to work and create account so once you are done with creating account you need to select your skills and here i guess it should so yeah here so you can choose actually in about any categories it's not mandatory that you can only choose in if you are chosen one skill in this you cannot go back and choose another skill in another category so let me go first of all my favorite skill designs graphic designing website designing logo and photoshop well they are actually arranged in the order while you see this first skill have 21000 jobs and the last skill has zero jobs so they are arranged in order of number of jobs instead of the alphabetical regular alphabetical order so next i'm going to writing and content and i can do only copywriting or translation i guess yeah in websites i know html and this actually you have a 20 skills you can select for a free account so i'll select 20 skills the more skills you select the more job chances you have so make sure you select at least 20 skills so i can do data entry processing too and the more upper skills you select which means the skills which are on top will give you more jobs so if you have no idea just click on the top four at least so i guess i have filled up and now i'll select one more i know what do i know photoshop designs yeah okay anyways that's done so once we have selected 20 by 20 skills you can come down and click on continue this will lead to your payment page so until and unless you want to add a credit or debit card right away or you have a paypal account ready you can actually skip it for now and while you're skipping it it will again give you another good offer so you need to make if you start trial right now you will again need to create uh, that you will again verify the payment option but you can again skip that for now don't worry this offer you'll get back again when you want to add this payment whenever you add this payment you'll get this offer once again so it's a one month free offer right now and it will be there forever so you will get 300 jobs uh, bids actually this will be 300 bids and 100 skills you have just selected 20 and you'll get 100 instead and actually a lot more thing so anyways so right now i'm going to skip it once you do that your account is created you are now a freelancer so i'm first of all you need to verify your email account that you can do just by going here and uh, 
click to verify okay so that was easy now your email is verified it will again ask you and you can skip it again for right now your account is verified all you need to do is verify your phone number you can verify via sms click here and add a phone number it'll ask your country then enter your phone number and send verification code and that would verify your account and then you have your account ready so click on this transfer icon to go back to the dashboard and your user profile has been created and uh, you can go back there by clicking on this icon this should be a profile photo in my next video we will see uh, how to set up this profile because the employer will only see this area and they should get really impressed by this so in my next video i'll show you how you can set up your profile to impress many for uh, many employers so this would be your link if anyone goes to flancer.com slash you slash your username and they will come to your profile you can share it on facebook and many other places so that you will get popular on that and all that so let's close for this uh, uh, flancer.com and let's create account on other websites so uh, i'll go to upwork.com and sign up with the same email address which i have created this one oh one second yeah here you need to enter your first name it will ask this option other options later also they they want you not to use a gmail.com address and if you have a website with personal emails you can use that but since you are going to use your gmail for all the other websites also this is okay so click on get started and select your country it will automatically select the best choice for you and keep password this should be at least of at least six characters that's all then click work as a freelancer choose the same username and which you have given which i guess was uh, so you went by nyk two right i'll check up what what was my username because i forgot it already <laughs> so here is my swami nayak swami okay 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 so here is my username i uh, i'm keeping the same so that people will not confuse and verify this code that pefn okay i guess that should do it click yes to agree and let that be also yes and your account has been successfully created again and this you need to actually first verify your email then select skills so go back and verify your email click here your account is verified great and after verification of your email you need to select your skills so here is the main category and here are your skills so if you are mainly interested in i guess design and creative or if you are writing then choose the skills what you can do here and if you add the same skills that will benefit you on the both hands like if you want this photoshop and you want to do add it here photoshop so you can use the same skills they don't have a list whole list to click but you have to type them out here and then choose them from the drop down list which is available they have actually a condition that you can select up to four of these categories and a total of three to ten skills inside them and this experience level shows that uh, and means entry level is uh, that you don't have any experience of freelancing and you are a new freelancer and intermediate means you have done some freelancing and you know about uh, your domain like if you are a designer you know quite good quality of domain 
an expert as actually I don't think any of you would be an expert right now so just choose entry level and select all your skills I'm not selecting them right now because I'm just showing you guys so you need to select them carefully and actually enter all the skills that you have here then save and continue in Upwork you have to create your full profile before you become a freelancer before they open your account they will ask you to set up your full profile and let, unlike an freelancer you got a freedom you can set this page up later and you are an active account holder and there are job notifications for you right now but in this there is uh, not an option like that even though you have selected as skills so the next thing you have to do is add a photo i'll suggest to use a professional photo something uh, friendly or that doesn't have any logo or your family or a dog or something that would not please your employer so once you are done with the photo choose a title and write your summary then select your education your employment history everything you need to select and then you have to review your application so this part actually comes under when you set this profile and right now i'm going i'm just going to copy from my old profile which is here i have already a profile created dot html i have to type dot html too i don't know what's wrong here is my original profile you just search my name it will show up and here is my profile so i'm just going to copy that same thing i'll speed up this process of setting up profile because i'll show this in my next video properly Your done our application has been okay right now i have to verify it and then you can send it for verification i'll suggest you add all the skills that you have and write this part and then submit okay so once you have done submit my application to join and then you will receive an email from that let me show you an email which i already have so this is what i have received last for my last profile that thank you for submitting your application to join up work and right now they have reviewed it and determined that my skill is not needed right now because the jobs they have for graphic designer is less and the number of freelancers is more so what can i do is i can add more skills or experience so that in future they can add me so well that's that with upworks don't get upset by this you still have two more websites remaining and freelancer.com has been created so let's go to next website and create an account in them too the process of joining them is pretty easy all you have to do is just click on join now use your same email account which you have i copied and i want to work full name uh, so you m y n a y a k your email address wait a minute i copied it oops okay then a password and then click on join guru and that's it again you have to wait wait for your email here to verify your email account and guru and that's verified now click on refresh or you can go directly here to dashboard 
and it will ask your address first of all so street address you want to give away street address let me give mine right now wow see uh, I never. here that's my address and again this part will be where you set up your profile and this part will be shown in the next video and next is people forever.com click on there sign up you are going to again use your same email address so first name last name email address a password account type is for only seller and i'm not a robot you have to Im select images with cars so that's that then click on sign up and again you have to verify that wait a minute i haven't received uh, here okay so you have completed matlab you have actually set it created your accounts but all you need to do is now set up your profile before starting that's actually a crucial part that's where you get more jobs and impress your employers so please watch my next video before doing anything serious so that's actually the main main part okay thanks for watching this video goodbye